Hey everyone, welcome to the session of C bond. In this session of C bond, uh, we will learn about pair plots. So let's get started and import our C bond library. Import C bond as SNS. And now in this example, uh, we will be working with Iris dataset. So let's import our iris data set from the seaborn library as well so sns dot load data set and we want iris now let's have a look at this data set so we have these columns of sepal length sepal width petal length petal width along with the species of the flowers so this is a data set about flowers with its petal length and width as well as sepal length and width and these flowers have three species mainly setosa versica and virginica so we will plot them using pair plots so let's call our pair plot sns dot pair plot and pass the name of the data set and we'll get a plot like this now this histogram is a bit messy because the bins are not visible properly so what we'll do is uh, you have to apply this command sns.set and we want style to be text okay So now when you execute it, you will see this plot. Now how to study this pair plot? You can see that we have all the four uh, features of sepal length, width and as well as petal. Now if you want to study between petal length and petal width, so you see this graph okay say you want to study about petal width that is this graph petal width width petal length which is this so you study this graph so in this way you study the pair plot but uh, as we know we have uh, the three species as well so it would be nice if we can segregate these scatter plots in terms of the name of the species so let's do that sns dot pair plot iris and we have an argument named as hue and hue equal to we want it to segregate on the terms of species okay so you can see this graph now now it has segregated these scatter plots in terms of the species and which are which mainly are setosa versicolor and virginica so you can see the petal length with petal width so the petal length of these blue which are setosa are least as well as the petal width are also the least in this case and when you see simultaneously the petal width with the petal length you see the same graph so in this way uh, you can uh, study multiple graphs in a one go and as you know uh, this diagonal which you have of histogram this diagonal is the relationship it shows the relationship with the variable to itself that is the petal width with the petal width the petal length with the petal length so this is a relationship with itself all right so we have much more many more features like if you want to change the palette say sns dot pair plot and by palette i mean the color of the graph and we want hue to be species which we saw 
and now I want the color of this to be uh, let's put this HUSL so now you see a beautiful graph with the color segregation okay uh, we can put the color with our choices as well let me show you one more choice you can also say blue D. let's see this one so this shows a different shade of blue this graph. so you can use it on your own way in whichever way you find attractive now there is one more way say that if you don't want uh, to study the whole features or the all all the graph if you don't want that in one go if you want selected graph so you can always say sns dot pair plot the name of the data set with u as species and now you want the variables as if if you want to study only sepal length and sepal width okay let's see this So it will produce a graph of only two variables with sepal length and sepal width as you can see in this. Now uh, you can also change the size if you want. Say you want a size of 5. That becomes big. Let's keep it to 3. Okay, so another way, uh, if you want to exclude this diagonal column, if you don't want the histograms or this uh, density plot, and you only want to study from this scatter plot. So what you can do is uh, say SNS dot pair plot the name of the data set and you pass your view as species and you can say x variable you want as sepal length Well, wait. Okay, so this is your x axis, and you want your y variable to be petal length and petal width. Right. So we have excluded the diagonal or the histograms and now we have only the scatter plots in front of us. So this is uh, the subset of the above graph you can say and let's uh, match these values with sepal width and petal width. This graph with the original one as we can see sepal width with the petal width yeah and you can see so that's it guys this is all we had for the pair plots there are many features in this so in this way you can plot 
your uh, graphs and values in one sentence or one line of command and no need to use scatter plot for different variables as well here okay guys so stay tuned for my next session on c bond i'll bring you many more features of c bond till then uh, like the video and subscribe my channel thank you so